Hi everybody! The purpose of this tutorial is to give you a quick overview of my approach with Meet Your Teacher this year. This school year, as we all know, is a very different one from years past. Some schools and districts have chosen to go back completely 100%. Um, while other schools and districts are starting the year out virtually or 100% remote learning. Whether or not your school is going back or whether or not your school is starting the year virtually, this approach to meet your teacher night, uh, something that we normally do in person, um, will work for both uh, options, no matter what way that you are returning to school um, this fall. So just so you know, my school and district, um, we're planning on returning to school uh, five days a week, um, normal length of a school day. So um, with that in mind, our school has decided to cancel the traditional meet your teacher night to avoid so many people in one space at a given time. And so to kind of cope with that, I was thinking about how I could um, establish a meet your teacher night where I'd still have the opportunity to meet families, still be able to touch base, um, and kind of give them a little bit of information about me and to get them excited for the school year. So today I'm gonna share with you the three things that I am creating and sending to my students um, for a Meet Your Teacher Night COVID-19 style. So the first is this basic Meet Your Teacher letter. This is something that I print and give to students and families when I meet them in person, traditionally on Meet Your Teacher Night. So I've just included a little background about myself um, some of my hobbies, uh, some of my favorite things, um, those sorts of things. So this page is something that I use um, during an in-person Meet Your Teacher Night. So I thought that it was important to also include this. I should say that the way that I'm choosing to do my Meet Your Teacher this year is by mailing my students a packet. And so this is one piece of three that I'll send to each student and their families hopefully to get them excited about coming to school, excited to meet their teacher for the first time, um, also coming in knowing some different things about me already. So this is the first thing that my students will find when they open the letter from myself, Mississippi. So the second thing that I have included is a wish list. This is also something that I print out traditionally and just have on student desktops or posted somewhere in my classroom. Um, it is my Amazon wish list. So instead of you know having that out of my classroom and post it on my whiteboard, this will be the second thing that my students see when they open up the letter from me. Um, so if their families are interested in donating um, to our classroom, what they can do is get out their smart device, whether it's a phone, iPad, whatever it is, um, and scan this QR code. So the directions say that you'll need to use your smartphone or smart device to be able to view my Amazon uh, wish list. So I wanted really quickly to show you how I did this. The first thing you need to do is to go to Amazon and create a wish list. So this is my wish list. Um, it's important when you create your wish list to make sure that your wish list is set to public. You can see that mine is set to public, which means that anybody that clicks this URL can see it. Um, to change the setting of that, if it's not already public, you're gonna go to manage list and make sure from the drop down menu you click on um, public. This means that anybody that has this URL, the link to this Amazon wish list is going to be able to view it. So the next thing you'll need to do is to create a QR code. So that's very easy. You can get on Google, you can, Q, you can search Q, free QR code generators. This is one that I've used again and again. So to create a QR code, it's very simple. You highlight the link and actually I should say, you need to make sure that you don't use the address bar link. It's a good thing I caught myself. <laughs> it will not work. It will not be viewable if you use this link right here. What you need to go, do is go to sharing options, send to others. You'll want to invite someone to view only. You don't want them to edit it. Um, view only. And so then you're going to copy that link. In this file here, in this space here, you're going to paste the link. You can choose if you want to frame around it or not. I just did a traditional QR code, and then you're going to click download. It looks like up at the top that it's working, so you're going to give it just a few minutes. It's going to pop up down here in the lower left-hand side when it's downloaded to your computer. When it is downloaded, you can open up the QR code. So I'm just going to go ahead and click it.
Then what I'll do with this QR code is right click copy and paste it right here into my um, wish list paper. So um, families or students, if they have an iPhone, they'll just get out um, their iPhone, they'll open up the camera setting and scan the QR code. If families have um, an Android, they'll need to download um, a free QR code reader on their phone through the Play Store. And I also give directions about that as well um, on the next page. But this is the second page that my students and families will see when they open up their Meet the Teacher letter paperwork from me. And the last piece um, that my students will view and families will view upon opening my Meet the Teacher paperwork is uh, the welcome page. So again, I have created another QR code uh, families and uh, students will take their smartphone or device, they'll scan the QR code, um, and this specific QR code is linked to my Google Sites uh, webpage. This webpage will be a resource that we use throughout the entire school year. Um, so let me go ahead and show you. As students and families click this specific QR code, or I shouldn't say click, but they scan the QR code, what they'll be redirected to is my um, Google Sites page. So I've created this a web page that my families and students will use all year long. Eventually I'm going to add a Meet Your Teacher video here. I have not gotten that far yet. I should refresh, refresh the page though um, because I did add a survey for students or I should say for parents to take. Here is the parent survey that I'm asking parents to submit no later than Monday, August 17th. Eventually, again, there will be a Meet Your Teacher video right here where I introduce myself to the students, show them our classroom, get them prepared and ready to wear masks when we start back to school. Um, and then, of course, I've created a parent portal, student por portal. So the directions on the welcome page ask you to watch the video, the Meet Your Teacher video on the homepage, for parents to take the survey, and then to familiarize yourself and your child with the website. So they can click on Parent Portal and they can look at all of the resources that I've included here. They can go home with their uh, third grader and check out the Student Portal. They'll be able to see our digital classroom and kind of click around and explore the different tools that we are going to be using together this school year. So um, again, to create the QR code, you'll need to go to a QR code generator I'm going to refresh the page here so I can get a new screen. Um, and then I'm going to um, make sure that I get the correct link here. And so what I'll need to do is make sure that I have a share link. So I'm going to click share with others. I'm going to make sure that anybody that's viewing this link can see it. It's set to, uh, my published site is set to public, so anybody that opens up this link will be able to view it. They don't have to have a Google account. They don't have to have a specific email. I'm gonna make sure that it's set to public and click done. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that link. Sorry, my computer is being funky. The link is actually right here. I'm gonna go home first though, because I want them to see this page first. So I'm going to copy, again, paste, download. It's working on creating my QR code. Once it downloads in the lower left-hand um, taskbar down below, I'm going to copy and paste that QR code, there it is, copy and paste it into my uh, onto my page here so that when families open up the letter from myself, um, they're able to access our school website before even coming to school. So we start on Monday the 17th. I'm planning on sending this paperwork no later than the Wednesday prior so that families and students will get this, these letters, this information um, prior to the weekend or during the weekend. Either way, they should get it before our first day of school. So, Meet the Teacher is going to look very different this school year, but I just kind of wanted to share what I came up with and my thoughts on how I'm going to implement Meet Your Teacher Night, um, since it will not be in person and it will be virtually this school year. So, if you are interested in these resources, I will include them in the information um, info on the video that I'm sharing. Uh, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would also love it if you followed me on Facebook. 
Um, hopefully you find these resources helpful to you um, and good luck with this new school year.